Hey guys, so I thought I'd just do this quick little video and explain to you what the differences are between PLCs and IPCs. Why would you use an IPC that's on a Windows-based platform? So starting with PLCs, we know that they were designed in the 1960s, were designed to replace relays. When they were first made, they were made with a simplified programming version called LaterLogic, which meant that you could use that same relay logic and create a code and instead of having a thousand relays you could have one program and a bunch of inputs and outputs now things have developed over the years and more recently ipcs have become very popular and for good reason ipcs are generally um so that they're based on a windows or a linux platform so you get all the same functions with an ipc as you get with a pc so what does that mean? IPCs are open to integration and development from any type of platform like .NET or Visual Studios. Now this opens up a, a very big world of, of opportunities for us as automation engineers and integration into manufacturing plants. The IPCs that are coming out um, these days are very, very powerful. They are basically computers inside a little, inside a little controller. Whereas most PLCs these days, unless you pay a lot of money, are generally quite limited with their processing power and their memory. So the same money for an IPC will often get you a much heavier and powerful processor, which in today's world is huge, especially when you've got vision projects and robotics and access mo movements and all these very um, high memory use applications in, inside factories. For us as automation engineers, we see it as a, a better option for a manufacturing plant. So all the functions that a PC has are built into an IPC. The, the same functions exist. The other big advantage is because of the, the memory size and the processing size, you could replace five, 10 PLCs in a plant with just a single controller and have, have it doing multiple things. Our applications are becoming so memory hungry and very data hungry that IPCs are a very good and safe way to protect future um, upgrades and and are, are a good investment from, from our point of view. When you're trying to choose between a PLC and an IPC, there's, there's so many things to consider. If you have a small application, a, a PLC is often all you need and you're not gonna want to go spend a whole lot of money on an IPC. In saying that, some of the IPCs now uh, come down a lot in price and often we're finding a PLC with a similar amount of IO will cost the same as an IPC. I know at Automatix we've been um, using a lot of IPCs. There's some people that still think that running on a Windows or a Linux based platform is unreliable. In fact I had this argument with my brother not too long ago. But what we're finding with typical PLC manufacturers is that they are slowly moving over to IPCs because the IPC and the PC platforms are a lot more reliable now. And I guess with integration for IoT and Industry 4, it gives so many more advantages to your factory for, for the future. So just some ideas to, you know, if you didn't know what the difference was, you thought about it before and haven't ever really had the someone explain it to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to kind of do a few more of these, so let me know if you've got any other questions about anything and I'll do my best to answer them.